Hi, I'm Matt. Who are you? Angela. What did we just do, Angela? We just watched the Spider-Man movie. The new Spider-Man movie. It's called Spider-Man Homecoming? Hello. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, we just watched Spider-Man Homecoming. And uh, what was your opinion about that movie? Loved it. It was freaking awesome! Yeah, it's a really, really, it is, it is hilarious. It is probably the funniest Marvel movie. Funnier than Ant-Man. Funnier than Ant-Man. But it still had action, still had heart. Um, best Spider-Man movie I've Best Spider-Man movie. And there is a little twist in the movie when, what was it, about like five seconds before it came, I leaned over to you and go, da 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 And that happened and everyone in the theater went, <gasps> And I'm like, yeah, what's up? Hmm. You know, and then also, um, like literally, I kind of squealed like a girl at one point in time when I saw something. I was like, "Oh, that's that's." I remember, I was yeah. like, "That's oh, oh. yeah." So, you have to watch that movie. It is awesome. It is awesome. Did you like it? Yes, I loved it. You loved it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. She held my hand this movie. In Iron Man 2, she wouldn't hold my hand. But in this movie, which Iron Man is in this movie a lot, she held my hand. Oh my gosh. Yep. And they're, I love the take they took. I love their twist on um, Spider-Man. Not an origin story. But in a way it is. In a way it is. Mm -hmm. It. It's not an origin story. It's more of a coming of age story. Like this movie fits perfectly. It's like a perfect homage to the uh, 80s uh, high school movies like, uh, what is it, Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club. I mean, perfect homage to those. Um, and it is, it is a coming of age story. So um, it is hilarious. And um, the lead actor, what's his name? Tom Holland? Uh, you know, there's a part where he's standing in his underwear and I covered her <laughs> eyes and she goes, what? He's a little boy. I'm like, he's in his 20s. She well, goes, he looks she, like her, this teenager. is what she did. I go, he's in his 20s. She goes, he doesn't look like he's in his 20s. Not in the yeah. movie. Yeah. He's, I, he's cute. So is that another actor you have a crush on? Oh my gosh. No, he looks like a teenager. Yeah, you're like, he looked like he'd be one of Austin's friends. Yeah, he looked like he was maybe 16 years old. He was 15 in the movie. In the movie. Could see? So, um, yeah. Um, so, go watch it. It is awesome. Um, is this going to be one that we'll probably come back and see in the theater again? Bring yeah. the kids? and Because no Ronnie today. No <laughs> Ronnie tonight. We had, this is what, the first night in how long you and I have... Because uh, he is at uh, his Nana. They went to the hotel and went swimming and all that stuff. Um, she's doing like a mini vacation here in town. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, also, we're going to buy this one when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, it's really, really good. And I didn't realize that this was the opening night for it. So a couple of OU football players are in the crowd. That was cool. That big dude you were checking out, his arms are like Those this big. Guys right there. Yeah. Yeah, that dude right there. The one with the arms bigger than my freaking face. Yeah. Short. If you take my gut and put in my arms, they still wouldn't be bigger than this dude's. I think, so. no, I mean, he's pretty short. Are you sure he's an OB football player? Dude, look at him. That doesn't mean he's a football player. Look at him wearing Nike head to toe and an OU shirt. And he's got arms bigger than my freaking body. Maybe he likes to work out. That's he looks like a teenager wearing Nike from head to toe, workout gear, Nike workout gear from head to toe, with an OU shirt on, and he's got arms bigger than my body. So, quit checking him out. I can barely see him. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to say bye. Right. Say bye. Bye. Bye.